So what a lovely morning here in Ireland. Raining on this fine Saturday afternoon. Morning, afternoon, either or. But looking like a trucker today because I was going to get my hair cut and I don't want to be walking about with a big fuzzy bob on me until 3 o'clock. But let's do my usual Saturday thing. Go up to the gym and get some buns. Pre-workout, one try logo. One scoop, two quid, VO2, free drinks. Right, taste test, Jolly Pop logo. Jolly Pop looks that. Strangely nice. What's it like? I don't know what Jolly Pop is like, but... It's strawberries in there. I don't know, no, it's not strawberries. It's man like it. Oh, it's poly pineapple. Nice, Alex. That's what it's meant, Alex. That's what it's like, poly pineapple, nice, Alex. It was dipped out. Dipped out. And now that pre-workout's kicking in, we're going to do a little 20 to 30 minute hit circuit in here. So I'm going to set something up and we're going to get started. I want to see the light. This will be round three. We're in 10 kettlebell swings, 10 press ups on the bars, 30 seconds on the bike, trying to keep our RPM over 100 at all times at your 12. Five box jumps, 10 barbell cleans, 10 inclined bench press, and then 10 massive ball slaps. So that's going to round three. So we're moving to our final round. I'm going to do this one in reverse because my legs are dead after that spin jump. Spin jump, spin bike for the box jumps. I was aiming at the cleans. I'm not left. So we're going to go in reverse this time to finish off the final one. Let's go. Actually, it wasn't as bad in reverse, but 10 to 3. Here we get my haircut. Let's go. Hello, Martin. How you doing? All good? Well, but how's it going? Not too bad. Health and fitness right here, as you can see. Health and fitness, big bag of honky dories, but. Health and fitness, that is fairness. And you know what? The start came in shape, one's of the best. I am not ashamed of myself. But honky dories aside, five rounds that circuit. It felt good, that's all I wanted to do today, so we hit circuit. And now we're going to sort this out. You ready for this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Quickest way to haircut, haircut, back. Oh <laughs> yeah. Do you mind? Look at the stadium. Do you mind? What? I'm trying to fucking... Oh wait, sorry. Huh? <laughs> 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 <Are> you joking? <laughs> Why are we watching this hand, bro? You're an absolute trump, bro. <laughs> Being a thirsty, sorry. <laughs> God knows what that water was. As you all know, quickest way to a haircut is obviously a headbutt. There it is, but Health and fitness. Protein, 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 protein. Get high something? Yeah. The haircut's shit. That haircut is unbelievable. It's the worst. Look at it. It's class. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't give out that spot. Well, you just got one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a bit of an internal vlog update, or vlog date, if you will. Uh, was starving after the haircut, came to Tesco's to get food, pulled up and was recording Instagram stories in my car, and the guy had pulled up beside me just slammed the door of his car into the door of my car. Uh, he says the wind caught it, but luckily enough, there was just like a scrape on the door handle. I'm not really too fussed about this car. Like, I know I'm changing eventually, and this car is just going to do me until I do change. So I wasn't going to cause like a whole drama and spill over like a little scrape in the door handle plus he was old so 
I just let him go on rather than like ruin his day as well as ruin my door handle. There he's back. He got, he's got to shop him. Well, we'll not call him out though. Data protection. All right, another vlog date, right? I had to drop the camera there because I didn't want to show him on screen. But after he went to this bird of his QR, he came and knocked my window and he gave me this scratch away paint for my QR. See, there is some genuine people out there that do cure, and I could have caused a massive fuss over that and like made him pay a couple of hundred pounds to repaint like the door of my QR. But no, don't give me a tiny scratch. I'm not fussed about it. He came and gave me this scratch away paint, right? But I'm going to say something as nice of a gesture as it was. This is a very old bottle. It also seems like something's been used out of it. And I think he got it from his boot, like instead of buying it, because like I said, the bottle looks like old and like damaged and stuff. So does he do this often that he just has like a supply of these in his boot? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, what a wee gem, but a gen genuine nice guy, like felt bad and came and not about He could have just drove off without saying anything, like what already talked. But yeah. <laughs> what what a wee what a wee gem, but please put my mood. Hey, like some someone being good like that, a genuine good person has put my mood hey through the roof. I'm gonna go to Tesco's here because there is two people in front of me that are sleeping in their cures. And one of them just woke up and I'm still sitting here talking to like my phone and my camera. So they probably think I'm an absolute weirdo. So yeah, let's go to Tesco's and get some Halo Top ice cream. It's been offered a minute. Uh, tip. But then the old man that I hadn't seen in years, like I used to come in, I used to serve him on the meat and fish counter when I worked in the Sabres at like maybe 19, 18 years old. Yeah. But I hadn't seen him from then. So I had a nice wee chat with him. I gotta be updated on his life and how he's keeping because I haven't seen him in like maybe six, seven years, maybe. I don't know. It's been a while anyway. But he recognised me, which was weird. Maybe I haven't aged. That's actually true. I looked really, really old whenever I was like 18, 19, 20, 21. Like I looked this same way. So I aged really, really quickly and then I stopped aging. So I'm hoping that I hold this age look right the way through to my like 60s. Probably not though. Anyway, food and there's ice cream in the bag. So, home, popper in the freezer, let's go. They see me rolling, they hate it, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. Alright, so we can't vlog and get my shit out of the car at the same time. Alright, so we actually got an important call and I had to go and do a few things. And as you can see, it is now dark. So, we will continue this vlog in the morning. So, I will see you in the morning. So, being totally honest, this is the next day. But I could have done this last night when I got home. I was just lazy and decided not to because it was late. Uh, but yeah, so I want to end this vlog and before I do, I'm going to talk about a couple of little things that I want to talk about. Obviously. Number one, I have been eating shit for the past two weeks. Uh, I've still been getting in good nutritious food, but I've been eating a lot of junk along with it. I've still been training well, uh, but I am starting to feel like shit because of it. So tomorrow again, we're getting back on the script. Shrek? Shrek? What? straight and narrow because I hadn't really ate any junk at all apart from busy one evening a week right the way through from the start of January to like two weeks ago and I was feeling great I let it slip and yeah it did it's it's amazing the difference you, in how you feel from like giving your body all nutrients all, nutri uh, all the talk Martin all of the nutrients it needs compared to not giving it to them so back to feeling good again tomorrow thank god number two I haven't wore these yet you've seen me buy them in the last vlog and I'm afraid to wear them because it's been wet and rainy outside and I don't want to get them wrecked and I still have to record my uh, shoe review video. So I want to make a point of starting to wear these from tomorrow so as when I make the video and have it out hopefully by next weekend I can actually talk about a proper review from wearing them as well as just like seeing them. And number three and the final thing I'm going to talk about is my weight. I talked about in the last vlog that I was sitting at about 94 kilos. I actually weighed myself it was 94.2. Uh, compared to yesterday, I was 92.8, so I'm down 1.4 kilos, which is roughly about three pound weight over the week. Uh, I done that just by adding a little bit more cardio into in my training sessions. But as of tomorrow, we're back to fully healthy again. And like I said, I was trying to hold my weight under 93 kilos uh, or around that figure for powerlifting. Like I said in the last vlog, the goal was later in the year I was going to do a powerlifting meet. So I was going to go back to lifting heavy, back to cardio, back to running. Do the spin classes, doing the old circuit, just everything I started loving back in the early days. I started it all again, uh, apart from the part of the program. But I was finding the sessions pretty boring and I wouldn't have been able to stick at it long term enough to actually can compete in a meet like in April or further down the line. So I gave it up and I went back to everything I said I was going to do at the beginning of this year, which is back to my roots. Part of them something new. I should have just stuck to what I said, 
I might call fully 100% back to my roots. So I'll update you guys week on week how it's actually coming along. Like I said, 94.2 last Saturday, 92.8 today. Change of nutrition starts tomorrow again, back into like giving myself all the nutrients that I need. So we'll see a big change again, I'll probably say about next week. And that'll be the big two changes I'm making. More cardio, back to good nutrition. I made those changes a week apart. And we will see how we get on week on week after that. So I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Thanks for watching this vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.